Welcome back to GeoJourney Explorers. In 1970s, Soviets drilled a 40,000 feet deep hole to see what secrets were hidden beneath our feet, and the discoveries were astounding. But sometimes the Earth cracks open on its own and invites us to look inside the belly of the beast. Today, we set on a spine-chilling adventure as we expose the Earth's most jaw-dropping gapes. From immense canyons that defy logic to monstrous sinkholes that seem to appear out of nowhere, join us on a riveting exploration as we present the widest cracks in the Earth. But before we visit our first destination, if you are new here, do us a favor by hitting the like and subscribe button. Standing on the edge of this crack nicknamed the Pit of Hell, one can't help but be amazed at the surreal spectacle before them. This is not a work of fiction but an actual pit on the surface of Earth, the Darvaza gas crater in Turkmenistan. It challenges our perceptions, resembling a scene from movie rather than a geological wonder. This crack is actually created by humans. Back in 1971, Soviet geologists were drilling for natural gas and they unintentionally made this massive crater when the ground unexpectedly collapsed beneath their equipment. They were afraid of the release of poisonous gases, so they ignited the crater. Little did they know, this ignited inferno would persist for over the next 50 years, transforming the Karakum Desert into a mesmerizing, glowing expanse. Let's take a trip to Hawaii's Big Island and check out a scary spot called Kamoamoa. It's like a live demonstration of how our Earth can make things and shake things up. Back in 2011, this place got famous when the Kilauea volcano decided to throw a fissure eruption party along the East Rift Zone. Cracks stretching for kilometers, like the Earth had a big dramatic yawn. Magma, the hot stuff beneath the surface, busted out, creating new land and changing the island's look forever. Kamuamoa isn't just a crack, it's a snapshot of the Earth's ongoing makeover. What makes Kamuamoa interesting is that it's part of Kilauea, a superactive volcano that's been adding layers to the island for ages. Every time it erupts, it's like Mother Nature saying, hey, let's add some more land here. Kamoamoa is a poster child for this never-ending process. Stand close and you're literally on some of the newest land Earth has to offer. Heading back to Oregon, there's this crazy cool thing called Thor's Well just hanging out along the wild and scenic coastline. People also like to call it the drain pipe of the Pacific, and once you see it, you'll get why. Thor's Well is like this mind-blowing hole in the ocean that never seems to stop swallowing up the sea around it. It's like nature's own magic trick, pulling in water and then whoosh, shooting it back out in a way that's both mesmerizing and kind of scary. Located near Cape Perpetua, Folks think it used to be a sea cave that got bashed in by the relentless power of the ocean waves. Now, it's a 20-foot deep hole that can get pretty wild, especially when the tide is high or during storms. The water churns like crazy, shooting up and then disappearing into the seemingly endless hole. What makes Thor's well so awesome is how it plays with the ocean. When the tide's just right, water zooms into the hole from below, fills it up, and then boom, bursts out in this epic spray. If you're enjoying this informative journey, book your seats for our next adventure by simply subscribing to our channel. And if you want first-class tickets, make sure to drop us a like. Meet the Motagua Fault right in the heart of Central America, weaving its way through the stunning landscapes of Guatemala. This isn't just any crack in the ground. It's where you can literally see the Earth doing its thing. The Motagua Fault is a big deal, a major fault line marking where the North American and Caribbean tectonic plates meet. Stretching for about 300 kilometers, it's like a giant scar cutting across Guatemala. Now it's not your average fault, it's a strike slip kind, meaning the land on either side isn't just chilling, it's sliding past each other horizontally. But it's not a smooth ride, it happens in sudden jolts during earthquakes. Back in 1976, a massive quake along this fault shook things up, leaving thousands without homes and even more without lives. That was a wake-up call for the folks here. 
Time to get serious about getting ready for earthquakes and building stuff stronger. What's cool is how the Motagua Fault has shaped Guatemala's scenery over millions of years. Picture valleys, ridges, hot springs, and mineral deposits, all made by the constant grind of the Earth's crust. For nature lovers and geology fans, this place is a goldmine of sights and experiences. But for the locals living around the Motagua Fault, it's a mixed bag. The fault's given them fertile soils and minerals for farming and industry, but it comes with a trade-off the ever-present risk of earthquakes. So they've learned to adapt, building sturdy homes and having emergency plans in their back pockets. Nestled in the charming scenery of southern Italy is the Valley of the Mills, or Valle de Molini, a cool place with a cool story. About 35,000 years ago, some big volcanic stuff happened nearby. Campi, Flegrai and Vesuvius were really active, shaping this deep gorge. Then a little stream came along and kept shaping it even more. Back in the day, like way back in the early 1900s, this valley was a busy spot. There were mills everywhere, using the stream's power to grind wheat and other stuff. But as time moved on and the things got more modern, the mills got left behind. Now, nature's taken over, making the old mills look like they're part of a fairy tale. Today, Valle de Molini is a chill place. You can wander around and see how nature hugged the old structures. Walk down the paths into the valley and you'll see this cool mix of ancient human-made stuff and the everlasting beauty of nature. Visiting Valle de Molini is like taking a time travel trip. Now, before we visit some of the most astonishing cracks on Earth, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, now's the time to do it. On the challenging route to Mount Everest summit, you'll find a place that's both thrilling and perilous, the Kumbu Icefall. This constantly shifting river of ice is like no other, with deep crevasses capable of swallowing a large building and towering seracs that can collapse suddenly, posing a serious challenge for even the most experienced climbers. Yet its breathtaking beauty continues to attract adventurers from around the world. Situated at the head of the Kumbu Glacier beneath Everest's western Siouan, the icefall is a product of the glacier's descent from the Himalayan peaks. As it slowly makes its way down, the glacier cracks and breaks, creating a chaotic landscape of mesmerizing yet hazardous ice. Moving at a speed of 0.5 to 1 meter per day, the Kumbu Icefall is considered quite fast in the glacier world, resulting in an ever-changing landscape with new crevasses and ice towers forming regularly. Hidden beneath thin layers of snow, the deep crevasses make this terrain extremely dangerous for climbers. To navigate, climbers rely on ladders and ropes placed by the courageous icefall doctors, experienced Sherpas who brave the ever-shifting ice to find the safest route. The Kumbu Icefall owes its existence to the nature of glaciers. As the glacier encounters steeper slopes during its descent down the valley, the top ice moves faster than the bottom, leading to cracking and breaking. Palu City in Indonesia is where nature's beauty meets its powerful punch. This city on Sulawesi Island dances with the Earth's forces, especially the not-so-friendly Palu Koro Fault that slices right through the valley. Surrounded by mountains, Palu City is part of Indonesia's seismic hotspot, prone to frequent tectonic shimmies. In 2018, a powerful earthquake and tsunami shook Palu City, revealing the intense hidden forces at play. This 7.5 magnitude quake not only rattled the ground, but triggered an eerie event soil liquefaction. Some areas turned solid ground into a liquidy mess, swallowing buildings and swiftly altering the landscape. It was a wake-up call, exposing the risks of living in such a geologically active spot. The unique tectonics of Sulawesi, with microplates tugging and twisting, explain the drama. The Palu Koro Fault, a sideways moving troublemaker, causes significant earthquakes as built up stress is suddenly let loose. As we conclude our journey, this exploration begs the question, 
Are we truly aware of the imminent threats lurking beneath our very steps, ready to reshape the very fabric of our planet? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel.